Um, well, we labeled it Prom Glam. This started out as a small project. Um, I partnered with some great people, my sister and our stylist here at the salon, the Denby Foundation, as well as Giovanni. And to see this come to life, to see these girls experiencing something they may have otherwise never been able to experience, um, has been more of a blessing for me, I'm sure, than it has been for them. Well, they are glam and gorgeous. The treatments that they are receiving, definitely full hairstyles. They're also receiving full makeup. Nails are being done. They were also uh, given couture dresses from Giovanni, who also included a handwritten note, thank you, to the girls. And they also will receive a limousine ride to the prom. And she paid for prom tickets as well. So the girls, in order to be Cinderella, they just had to show up. <laughs> as soon as I got there, they had a chair set up. And my name was on the mirror. I had my own makeup, stylist, and hairstylist. I would rather wear basketball shorts and a regular t-shirt than a dress and heels. I don't wear heels either. Just not my cup of tea. But I wore that dress and them heels just for that day. The heels, they hurt my feet, but I still wore them. I kept them on all night. At first, I wasn't going to go to prom. In my head, I was like, well, I'm just not going to go to prom. And I'll just like see everybody else's pictures. and. When I found out that I was like nominated for this and I actually won it, I was really excited. I, it was, everything was gonna be a surprise, the dress, the makeup, the hair, everything. So I, I like surprises, so <laughs> that, that was really fun. Um, we selected the girls at LBJ that had the highest attendance, um, that had, were passing all their core classes, participated in at least one community outreach program. And the teachers nominated them. The teachers nominated the girls they thought that were most deserving. I got a chance to interact with the girls three times and they're amazing. I think it's important that we empower our young women uh, because in this day and age, it's so easy for a young girl to lose herself in either wanting to find a man or just everything that happens on social media. And so for me, it's important to empower our young women that you can be anything you want to be when you focus on yourself and on God, most importantly, above anything else. Anything is possible. And so I just didn't want these girls to fall into being a statistic. I wanted them to know they matter, um, that they're special. And if they have big dreams and they chase them and work hard, they can achieve them. I think the greatest change that I've noticed is, uh, I think with them feeling more connected to more adults in the building and, you know, more smiles and interaction and things like that. Um, and definitely that was something that was needed. I think it shows the other students that, um, the school is a place, you know, where adults can establish different types of relationships with you so that um, they're meaningful and some are, you know, not just academically based, but those other areas of need as well. This experience, like, actually gave me more self-esteem. I'm, like, more open now. I like to talk more and be, because I'm a happy person. I, I smile a lot and now I, I smile more now and I just get excited for new things now because you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes I think we overlook um, our resources and what we have available to us and how easily we can be salt in this earth and really touch someone else's life. Um, but at the end of the day, aside from making them beautiful for prom, I really want this to be about just letting them know they're important and special and that they can achieve their dreams. So that's the goal behind this whole event.